I might die. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tyken Sons Lumber Co. Where last time, we got through two of the night things, and also, Tyke here was going to get arrested, but he didn't. Um, Shipwreck and Wooden Bird. Um, the 2.0 Wooden Bird. I can build that, I think. Then shipwreck, I need a lot of water bottles. Okay. I wonder where I should build the wooden bird. Um, I think I'll build it a little farther out. Why does Seabill always want a wooden bird? Or in the first game it was a statue of himself he wanted. And in this he wants just a wooden bird. It doesn't make sense. Um I guess I get rid of these. Chop down the tree. I wonder if these grow while you're offline. Or like off the game. That would be interesting if it does. Oh, I'm one lumber short. Let's fix that and build. Okay. And now we just need a shipwreck. So, I need to find wood or water bottles. I guess I chop down trees and Because of that's going to be important, I'm sure. Get rid of these, because they can give water bottles. Okay, that goes. Plant the whole row back. Um, let's just do another one of these, because why not? Let's do level two. Oh. So, there's a bird now that tries to kill us, I think. It doesn't seem that bad. I think it's about the same as before, apart from the bird. Actually, that was kind of close. Oh, wow. This is actually hard when it... Oh, I touched it. And then you just automatically get put back to the start. This looks like it's supposed to be tight. But who knows, maybe it is. Wouldn't be surprised if he had a game with him as a character in it. In this game, I mean by that, like, by in-game universe things, because obviously he's in two games, being this one and Chipper and Sons. Okay. Yay, we won. Not sure if you need to do all of these or not for anything. I don't think so, I think it helps later with grinding, actually, but that probably would be it. Can I buy water bottles? Nope. I'm going to have to grind for them. That might not be fun, but can't do anything about it. Um, I wonder what mini games I could do. Drop that down, plant a tree, get that coin. I think I found most of the coin locations. Um. Can I 
really click anything here. But where does this lead, though? That's something I wonder. Um. Where do I click on each tree? Okay, mini game. There we go. Another magic heart. What will the magic hearts be needed for later? Because I'm sure we need them, otherwise it's just useless to have them at all. It looks like some coin things refreshed. I'll probably just have to grind for a little bit for all of the water bottles. Because stuff like that can take forever to get depending on if I get lucky or not. But yeah, I'll see you when I have enough water bottles. And there we go. And I just got two water bottles from that. I honestly wouldn't be bothering with killing so many of these on my way to build other things, but... I kind of need to, just so I have this stuff for later. Rockstar Fredbear? What? Okay. We can build that. I guess I have more than I needed. By, like, three. So that means I only needed, like, one thing, and I didn't realize it. But whatever, it'll be good to have the extra. I know where I want to build the ship thing. It would fit by the water. I might build it on the beach. Otherwise, I'll build it by that tank thing over here. Wait, what? Oh, I think I already talked to him. Wait, what does this guy want? Hey, 20, get a crazier face. What's a crazier face? I don't know. Whatever. I'll try to leave more grinding out this video, too. You can let me know in the comments if you'd prefer me leaving some of the grinding. Otherwise, I'll just focus on the non-grindy bits more. But then, like, show if I get anything interesting. Um. I'll build the shipwreck right here. Because of that actually fits. Um. Okay, so talk to Seabill now. Whoa, does Seabill actually live here? Yes, bro, he does. It's his cabin. And we are talking about the one in only Seabill. The one who survived the most brutal robot attack to date. We do, bro. Stylish hat. I think we're still a hat. Exotic residence. Owner of Seabill Industries. That's him. Well, that's like I'm his biggest fan. Especially the story about him surviving the robot attack is incredible. True, but he doesn't want to talk about that really. You gotta respect that, understand? Understood. Uh, what robot attack and when? Thanks. The wooden bird and broken ship will come in handy someday, I assume. For now, I don't really have any tasks for you. And I think it's only fair that I give you something in return. 
No, not money. Who told you that I would actually pay you with money? I have something far better. Oh, Tyke isn't gonna be happy without his money. What? Some peeps were talking about me outside. They mentioned a robot attack. I feel a bit uncomfortable talking about that. But I guess you deserve to know. It happened a few years ago. I was attacked that night by a giant killer robot. A loud noise woke me up. I looked out the window and saw the machine. What? It had weapons all over it, and it looked like a giant floating gag. Okay, that seems suspicious that he mentions it looks like an egg. It makes me think a bird built it because of it's shaped like an egg. I tried reaching out with my wing, hoping that it'd come in peace, doing it like an adult, you know. The only thing I've gotten in return was a light blue beam that destroyed my house. I ended up lying in between piles of burned down wood that once were my cabin. But surprisingly, I was unharmed. Did someone try to kill him? To this day, people think that I'm invincible. But that's rubbish. I was simply lucky. I was... It was a sad thing, though. As I've lost a whole lot of money that was stored in the cabin. But bad things happen from time to time. And I'm just happy that I'm still alive. Anyway, back to the main topic now. What I actually wanted to give you was this. A keycard to the elevator that leads to the most epic place you'll ever visit. Go take a look. You will like to like what's down there. Okay. So now what? Okay, I just need to go down here. A uh, nice elevator scene. That's actually cool that he put this in. I mean, maybe a little too much for how long it is, just to go down and up. But it's cool. Is this a party room? I think it is. What did you say? Sorry, the music is really loud. That's why I'm screaming like this. So calm and relaxing. Can I click anything for money? Yeah, I can click that. I'm not here for the music, it's too loud. I just think the DJ is really cute. Wow. Um, what's this way? Staff only room. Okay. Well, that's it, I think. Time to wait through this long elevator ride. Okay, it's done. I just looked down there. Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Okay, we're back down. My watering can works down here. That's nice. Maybe I was supposed to go here. Um, no idea. Um. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hey, is that the beaver dance, right? <laughs> Aren't you the son of Tyke Chop, son of the great Chipper Chop? I heard that your family had some sick remixes to offer back in the days. You should ask your father if he can lend us a classic thievery remix. Oh, so I need to go talk to Tyke. Oh, Seabill's gone. Where are you? Oh, okay, that's why he... Or what? happened. You probably tried to talk to me. 
I couldn't answer him probably because I couldn't hear him through the thing with the music. And yeah, now he's asking where I am. Well, let's go see Tyke now. Okay, here we are. Hey yo, good that you're here. Listen, I need your help again. One of my older robots that I thought was destroyed reactivated himself and now runs amok in the dome. You still owe me some one since the coffee incident yesterday. Go fight the robot. Or make it go away. I don't care as long as our precious company is safe again. Good luck, son. Okay. So you want your son? Who has only a few days of experience out in the real world to fight a robot. Oh, something happened that really upsets me. Wood Fried. Okay, that's his name. I was supposed to get trashed, yet I am working perfectly fine. I still woke up here in the dump this morning. You animals wanted to trash me. You disgusting, smelly animals. How can you smell if you're made of wood? Look at my six-pack. I'm ripped. Ripped! Um, you were carved that way, so you aren't that good. I'm going to crush you. I'm going to smash you to the ground. Sit on you. Tear you apart and make lumber out of you. That, I don't think, is how it works. You think you can stop me? Even your stupid father is too scared to face me. That's why he sent you. He knows that I'm strong. He made me and forgot to permanently turn me off. Sad thing. Time to suffer, beaver boy. Oh, wow. Why? Why? Where is he? Quick. Oh, I chop him up. Oh no. Why? Why are there saw blades right there? So I'm assuming every second thing I can actually fully damage him. And I'm guessing it's a three-time thing again. Oh no. Stop him. Okay. I think I need to wait one more after this. I need to wait for him to do this twice. I like how they have boss fights like this, though. It actually makes it interesting. Die, 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 die. Stop. Okay, he's dead. Turn them back on, though. Because he was obviously shut off for a little bit. I knew you could do it. Overall, a pretty neat battle. I give it a 7 out of 10. So the DJ and Seabills Underground Disco once wanted a beaver re song with a sick beaver beat. Glad to say that I can deliver. I was young once, too. I know that what's hip. This one is called Look What You Made Me Chop by Timber Swift. Wow. What an old classic. Who can dislike that? I hope a few scratches on the disc haven't done anything to the tune. But there is no better way to know than to try it out. Go, son, and tell me if they liked it. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, so 
Is that, like, main quest item or something? I wonder how grindy this will get because so far it hasn't been too hard. And if this goes off of, like, a FNAF-style thing, like... I'm gonna assume there's going to be five or six night segments, which makes me assume there's five or six day segments before the end. Then I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, post-game stuff for day segment, just because of, they could easily do that as a, if you want to just keep having fun and building stuff things like that. I'm gonna probably try to rush a little more now. Because I don't know exactly how long I've been going and it's been a while for this one day segment. So I'll probably try not to grind too much on the way. And I'll skip stuff like this so you don't have to watch it like 10 times. Okay. Thank you, let's try this out. Hopefully these aren't copyrighted. Um. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted because if this stuff is then... They just smashed through the floor. Okay. Wow. Uh. What? Hey. Hey, you. Are you slacking off? I hope not. Back to work. Wait, your helmet. Where is your helmet? You must wear your helmet at all times. Here, catch. Okay, whatever. These robots don't build themselves. Go gather materials from the caves. Collect 200 robo rocks and put them in the corner container over there. Uh, how do I work? I'm not even supposed to be here. Our barrels are really weak. Even mouse could break them. How do I smack the rock, or the barrels? I want to break the barrels. Oh, okay, I click them. Oh, that makes sense. Need keycard, no keycard detected. Okay. Look at my little dancing boy. Look at him. Um, that's a big Bruce. This is the fifth helmet I lost this week, the inspector is gonna get so angry when he hears about this. Okay, is this Seabill's factory for robots? Oh, do I give that guy the helmet? Hmm. My helmet, thank you. Here I have a secondary key card for the Minebot. Take it before the inspector sees that you lost yours. Okay. Here, keycard accepted. Happy mining. Okay, this is cool. What? Collect Robo Rocks with the mine bot. Um, how does this work? Um, here. No. How does this work? Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, okay, I can smash those. Oh, wait, I need to go back. I see something I can do. I can break that bottom one. Can't I? Oh, I can't. Never mind. This is interesting, though. Okay. I, yeah, those kill me, I guess. Um. 
Why do I have to do this though? Okay, um... Oh, so there's fake floor. Um... Not sure how this will go, though. We'll see. I think I just need to keep doing this stuff. That's what it looks like, at least. I think I always start back at the beginning, though, if I die. So that's going to suck if that's what actually happens. And I get far. Um... Not why what not sure why I'd want to do that. Unless that's actually like a fake thing. Though I guess there is a path this way. I'm not sure how much of this piece I'll leave in either because it seems like a lot of the same thing. Of just repeatedly doing this. So, I might just skip some parts of this. So, sorry if people were wanting to see the full thing of this, because I'm definitely not keeping it all in. I've gotten a lot of stuff now. You really need to plan where you're moving, though. Um, yeah, I think I could have done this a little better. But whatever. Um, hopefully that doesn't make it take forever to get back. Because this is kind of boring when you have to re-go, or go all the way back, just because you got hit once. But, whatever. Okay, here we are. Just do that. That. Got all of these. Um, ninety nine out of two hundred. Why does it make you grab two hundred of these, though? That is annoying. Uh, where do I go? So I have to go this way. Endo torso. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the front bear thing. Okay, I can pick all of those up. Wait, can I break through anywhere? Nope. Just making sure because this is a long way back. Um. Oh, I can go up here. Of course I died. Okay, back to where I was. This is really annoying when you die. Like that, now I have to go all the way back. Okay, I actually got somewhere now. Okay, get all of that. Wait, 
but okay, so I have to break this. Oh, why? What is that and why is it there? Why? And I'm assuming if that hits me once, I die. And now I can make it. Wait for it to go past. Go down. Oh. Fast. Endo head. So, I'm assuming that to build some things, you need to do this at least two times. Because I'm assuming there's going to be more that needs an endo head than just the Rockstar Fredbear thing. But, who knows, maybe it is just for Rockstar Fredbear, though I don't know why you need him. And is that a bug of some kind? Because it kind of looks like it has wings. Whatever, we're done. I got 226. Yay! That took way too long. I need that stuff. Break Put time. all of that in. Break time. Break time. Break Yay, time. Break time. Break time. Break time. Break time. So many Break seagulls. Time. Break time. Break time. Or birds at least. Break time. And this is where workers come to rest and enjoy some of our entertainment animatronics. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Just because I was allowed to bring you to work today doesn't mean that we can go all crazy in here. Just watch the band. Where is the singer? Oh yeah, the lead singer. Um, uh, do you really want to know that story? Tell me, please. So, you probably already knew about the special robot Seabill produced himself a few years back. Yes, I do. Summer Crab in the Mushroom World one. Oh, and the Beaver. Yes, so, he made one for us workers, too. Okay. It was a duplicate of Seabill, only a little larger. Okay. The name was Seabilly, but most of us call just but most just called him Seabill.exe. It was designed to entertain and serve drinks and ice cream. Okay. But as you can imagine, this didn't end well. What happened? We heard about Summer Crab and the other special robots going wild. So, one of our workers got so scared that he tried to destroy Sea Billy. And we were we were able to stop him, but Sea Billy was broken. Um, so what next? The other day he was missing. We assumed a malfunction made him leave. Whoa, scary. That's so cool. Why? I hope he visits us someday, then I can meet him. Better not. No one knows what the damage really did to him. Well, imagine if he'd come to get us at night while we're sleeping in our house not knowing. I'm assuming Seabilly or Seabill.exe or whatever I would call him is going to come for us at night. Wouldn't that be an awesome horror story? I don't think that's a new idea, bro. Ah. Okay. Uh. Wait, can I? It would be funny if I could. Wait, so do I need... Rockstar Fredbear? I need metal bars. I think I build him there, though. Oh. How many of these do I need again? 
five? Can I buy five of them? One more? I'm one short. That sucks so much. Hopefully I can come back here soon, though, because I can build the Fredbear thing. Oh, they patched up the hole. What do I do now? I need to go see... Wait, snooping around doesn't... doesn't understand the concept of privacy. Mike, I would strangle you if I could. I can't do it in the open. I... Shut off this music. Anyway, I have to think of something fast. I have to kill him where nobody will ever find his body. I remember where there being a good place for it and someone to do it for me. I have to make him go there by himself, though. Nobody can ever know what my deal is. And if that doesn't work well, I'll probably have to reactivate it. Ah ha ha ha, I'm so evil. What? <laughs> so who's even thinking these things? Where have you been? I was slightly worried. Worried because you don't have a brother who could take care of all the mess that a missing Mike would cause. And we actually got two more submissions. You'll be doing these for the rest of the day, is that clear? Someone wants to build a rock chop. They are practically the Chipomat 2.5, but not really. See that you get this done soon. Um. Okay. Rock Chop. I can build it. That's nice. Oh no, I did not mean to build that or plant that. Yay! Another customer wanted a storm machine. You might want to build something else first. Uh... Mr. Rainmaker, I guess? Yeah, I need Mr. Rainmaker. So I need a crazy face and crazier face. I can get both of those at shops. This is why grinding like this is nice. Because of then I can actually buy things I need with still being able to not grind for a ton of other things. Oh, how many spiders do I have? For spiders. Okay, I have three. When does this open? The magic cave, what is it anyway though? Um, let me see, got the crazier face, and now I need a crazy face, ooh, I had just enough, um, I think I'll build the other thing though, since I can, and I don't think I need any of the other things I have, okay, get that stuff, May as well chop that down. I meant to grab that. And let's build that thing. Okay. Buy that. And, wait, what? What is that? Yeah, what is that? It's just unknown. We need a coffee to go. Um. Rockstar Fredbear. Golden Acorn. Okay. Well, that's done. I guess I can build the... Sun face or the rainmaker. Okay, I think I'll build the rainmaker here or something because I don't know where else to build it. And yeah, 
yeah. That's basically it. Because I, uh, because I don't think I want it anywhere. It doesn't seem like it would really fit any specific place. Oh, that is creepy. Why? Now I need to wait for clouds. And we also need a glass cage, I guess, and metal bars. So I need to grind more. Okay. This may take a little bit, since I need so much. Wait, how many metal bars did I need? Two. I need a coffee to go for that. I might build it at some point. But I'm going to just focus on one thing. I'll be back after all the grinding. Okay, so... I have everything needed now. So, yeah, um, where should I build this thing? Storm machine. Um, what is this? Fancy lights. I wonder what that will be for. Um, I could build that here. Yeah, I'll just build it here. May as well get all the wood possible out of this tree. There we go. Build that. This actually kind of fits. Superb, super beaver, whatever. It's like you surely want to rest now. Okay. Well, I think I'll do this night segment and then be done with this for this video. Because I've been going for a while and did not think that this would be such a long thing. So yeah. Mr. Rainmaker creepy. When does the magic cave open? I don't know. I should probably get these, though. I also like how each minigame... I guess I only checked each one once. Where I actually could play each one. I didn't check the beach one more than once, since that's just way out of the way at this point. But whatever. We don't really need crystal heart things. Okay, let's see. What a weird day. Do you want to go to bed? Yes. Good night. Later that night. I'm assuming Seabill thing will come for us. Since the kid made a joke about it. When you hear a monster's voice, right click to turn off the living room lights. If you have enough time. You have enough time. Do your other chores first. Okay. Right click. Okay, um. I might need my volume up. Someone. They don't take long to leave. That's a good thing. Quick. This door. Oh no. I might die. Window, fast. Okay, quick. 
windows. So yeah, Seville.exe thing is here. I'll just call it. I don't think Seabilly fits it. Though where did it even come from? I need to get that over here. Get window or door. Quick. Lights off. I just noticed that there. What? What was that? That just really drained my flashlight. I need to recharge. Whatever that was really drained the flashlight power. Oh, I didn't check the other side. Almost there, though. Oh no. Let me there. Let me go. You just spawned there. Crab. 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 <laughs> Quick, get rid of him. And then I need to grab the other thing. Oh, B, 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 B. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, I just realized. We never got any evidence to prove Tyke isn't guilty. So, we'll see what happens. Good morning. Ready to start your day with a bit of history? The answer is yes. I have something interesting to show you. Don't hesitate. Get go. Ah, crap. Yeah, you thought he'd forget? Good morning. Hello, officer. What made you visit my holy place, this lumber? Don't play. I know why. You know why I'm here. I need to see the proof. Proof? Oh, 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 that. Yes, I have proof. I don't know where I put it, though. Heh. It has to be lying around somewhere in the cabin, but I can't find it. Silly me. Give me a few hours. No. Why so froggy? That's it. You're under arrest for sleep, disturbance, and murder. Murder, since when's that a topic? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The dirt bird that was killed by one of your chippomats last night. Man, we really need a television. Come with me, or else. Okay, uh, oh Mike, violence isn't always the solution. That's what your mother would say. But that was a sick move. Good boy. M Mike just assaulted a police officer. Even if it's a frog, they still have authority of being a police officer. And Tyke's telling him, good job. Okay, you better throw him into one of the city's back alleys so when he wakes up he thinks that he drank too much. Wow. Uh, I guess we deal with him first. I wish I could move faster. Okay, though. Whatever. That's something. Um, 80% off. Everything? What? Is he raising that by the day? Wait, uh, that's in the background now, instead of on the path. That's weird. Everyone's gone, though. No one can witness what Tyke is 
or Mike is doing. This isn't Tyke. But still. Oh no, there's a witness. The sun or rain, Mr. Rainmaker. Okay. That's how you deal with a police officer, I guess. What? Okay. Sure. Come over to the dump. I have something interesting to show you. I think we see that and then we end. I wonder how much is in this day segment. Thing is, it's been a while since I actually got anything done. Or, last time was so long, that's what I mean. Because I obviously got a lot done now. What? I wanted to make sure there aren't any more robots in the dump that are out for revenge. And then I found this. A rocky socket for what looks like the shape of the legendary spine crystals. It also already g got one in it. What is a spine crystal, you ask? Hundreds of years ago, in the ancient Egypt, people wanted blah blah blah. Blah blah, space time, blah blah, spine, blah 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 blah. They all died, blah blah blah. Screams, blah blah blah, magic creatures and stuff, blah. And then I sold them on the market because the company wasn't paying off. I'm really curious to what will happen if we put them back in their sockets. I remember that I sold one to Tinker the Owl back when he built creepy looking machines in the forest. But he retired and lives in the mountains now. Maybe he kept the spine crystal. Son, I'm relying on you to get up there and pay him a visit. And bring me my spine crystal. Okay, he's turning more like Chipper every day. Isn't he? But I think that's where we end off. We can build a few things. Uh, okay, what is this? But, whatever. I think I end here, because this has been a long time of me playing this. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and also please subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!